Hi, my name is Newman. Welcome to New Inside Art, and today we're visiting a mid-century modern home. All right, so the highlight for this home for me is actually this custom shelving unit that he built on his own. Um, so it turns out he had a lot of collective stuff around the house and he needed to put it somewhere. So he actually built this plywood OSB uh, decorative material and painted it black. So as you can see, there's a bunch of vinyls here that he's collected over the years. You have a bunch of different stereos, a bunch of different cameras. You even have a few uh, portraits that he put down. He really likes black owned um, artists. While you're walking to the kitchen in the hallway, you are stopped by this powder room. Um, everything is black. He even painted the doors black. The tiles are black as well, which I really like. Um, it's very a cohesive kind of design. When you walk into the kitchen, you, it is more open concept. He didn't limit himself with uh, putting the uh, subway tiles, put them all across the room. It gives kind of like a more simple and like elegant taste because you can play around with color, not making it too funky. From the kitchen, we actually head into the garage, which is another highlight to me because it's actually a production studio that he built himself. Um, so he added flooring from the main floor and put it in the garage. He also built in a rail system in order to have practical lighting whenever he's shooting or making a project. Uh, he has a backdrop um, in the back here. Um, he has more extra lighting and uh, tripods for uh, camera equipment. Um, and he also has kind of like the studio, um, kind of like staging space. So uh, everything is vintage, everything is thrifted. You know, when you walk into a kitchen, um, you would think you would put like kind of like a dining sort of area here, but he transferred it into like kind of a new, like a second living room. Um, so I really like that because, you know, you have like the space where you can sit down and you can also listen to music. This is a vintage Ikea. So it's pretty cool because there's a lot of vintage Ikea stuff going around. So um, vintage Ikea basically means like discontinued products um, that they don't sell in store anymore. So he found that off Facebook Marketplace. So the island counter, he got thrifted uh, stools, um, but he also used leftover panels he got from Ikea in order to do his um, shelving unit in the kitchen and he added it under the island. So it kind of makes, complements each other super well. So then when you go into the living room area, another kind of open space, but it's more minimalistic compared to everything that we just seen. He has his classic L couch with a few designer books and then he has a large TV. Kanye West album. Um, so the colors you can see is red, um, a slight bit of yellow, gold, and then this uh, kind of green-ish um, color. And he made this fireplace to match that. Uh, so going upstairs before we head up there, I, I wanted to showcase this uh, industrial railing right here, which is like a metal, like kind of like metal pipes that he has. Mm -hmm. 
What I really actually like about this bedroom is that he turned his closet into a full bathroom. So if you go into this uh, shower right here, there is a sliding door. And then you have the toilet and then you have the vanity and then you have an overhead shower um, with these classic black and white tiles and then a small mirror and the window facing um, on the exterior of the home to ha grab a lot of light coming in. So I find that pretty awesome. Um, I find it interesting that there's no curtains. <laughs> so whoever is showering in here, um, they either have to be alone or with somebody who has already seen them naked. <laughs> So I'm outside right now because we're actually headed to the basement. Uh, there's a separate entrance. You can't actually go in from the uh, main floor of the house. Um, but the outside is pretty cool because you have some artwork on the outside that he placed along the way while you are walking to the basement. I, I found it kind of odd too that we had to go outside to go in the basement but the reason why is because he kind of converted it into like an airbnb apartment he has his little shed where he does a bit of woodwork uh, for all the custom things that he builds inside his house and then you have a few artwork here and then we are headed to the basement down here so we're in the basement right now. So this is a basement apartment slash Airbnb at the same time. And then you also have a kitchen. Um, he kept a white kitchen, but then he added a brown backsplash. And what I found really cool too is that the uh, island is was actually a desk converted into like an island. I grew up listening to Bob Marley. My dad was obsessed with Bob Marley. All right guys, so that is it for this home tour video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm actually gonna go take advantage of this home and sit in the dining room and listen to some few vintage uh, vinyl albums and just chill. <laughs>